Hey y'all, Roger Harris here with the Vintage Iron Garage. Today we're gonna to take a look at a shotgun I just bought. Uh, it's a Citadel Boss 25 12 gauge semi-auto on an AR platform. And um, I put a, a sight mark, R spec, um, ultra shot holographic sight on it. That works really well. But I wanted to try this in the dove field this past weekend. But I had a problem. I couldn't find a two round magazine for it. In Mississippi and other states, they probably, other states as well, probably require that uh, you can only have three rounds in the gun to small game or bird hunt. Mississippi is certainly that way and your state may be as well. But several companies do make magazines, two round magazines for this gun. But the few that I found on the internet were sold out. I couldn't get them. Um, I just, uh, just, just didn't have a solution besides trying to modify this mag myself. So I took the mag apart and figured out that it's not very complicated and you can simply make a two round mag out of this by limiting the plunger, how far the plunger goes down in this mag. And it's easy to limit that without ever taking the mag apart by simply drilling a hole and putting a screw in just the right spot on the mag. So I've done this mag, I can't undo it for you, but we'll take a look at how to do that. It's easy, it's cheap, it's quick, and it's effective. And the good thing about this is that if you wanna undo this and have your five round mag back, you simply take the screw out. So it's kind of the best of both worlds in my opinion, but all you do is simply measure three and a half inches up from the bottom of the mag. You can see that there, there's three and a half inches on the dial indicator. It doesn't, it's not very critical within a few thousandths, but uh, you know, you want, it, uh, you want it so it will only hold two rounds. So about three and a half inches is where you need to be. I'm using a number six screw right here. This screw you can pick up anywhere. I liked it because it's black. It matches the, uh, matches the mag and looks nice and slick. It is a number six and it uses a 964 drill bit. So I've got that already in my drill here. You simply pop that hole straight in the mag where you marked it three and a half inches from the bottom and you simply insert the screw. Now you don't want to use a long screw. I would say anything over a half inch is too long. The shorter the better. All you're trying to do is stop this plunger from going down and it doesn't take much to do that. If you put a long screw in here it will interfere with the spring in the mag and cause some problems your mag probably won't function right. So once you put that screw in, if you want it permanent, put some Loctite on it. Uh, if you don't want it permanent, leave it like that. And um, it worked well for me this weekend. I shot well over a hundred rounds and it never jammed once, never caused me any problems. As you can see, when you stack these shells in here, two go in here just fine, three, will not go. That's as far as it'll go down. So to have three in your gun total, you, of course you put one in the chamber of the gun, two in your mag, and voila, you have a two round magazine with a three round gun. Other mags I'm told will fit these guns. I think the Panzer mag will fit it. There's a couple of other AR platform mags that'll probably fit this gun as well. These are metal mags. I don't know how it would work on a plastic mag. These are, are steel mags, so uh, the screw works really nice. But it's easy to do, it's quick to do, it's cheap to do, and it, it works. So good luck, thank you.